Welcome to WPCD at 88.7. And this is Gessie Moore and Remy from the Parkland Cobras soccer team. And welcome back on Saturday Special. I'm Ed Raymeister. And I'm Robbie Otney. And we're back with a few more questions for our guests here. Uh, my first question I have to ask is, what's your favorite soccer team, Gessie? Uh, my favorite soccer team would probably have to be Real Madrid. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> because I like Barcelona, that's why. <laughs> uh, okay. I don't know much about the team, so you want to explain that a little bit, Ellie? Yeah, uh, actually, Real Madrid and Football Club Barcelona are like rival, yeah. so they are two of the best teams in Spain, so that's why. Oh, okay, I see how that works. Mm -hmm. yeah. Cool. And, and since we're talking about the teams, what's your favorite team, Ellie? Uh, mine, actually, I'm like, I've, bo I've been born with soccer by Manchester United, but I should really say that today I really rule for FC Barcelona and Juventus Turin in Italy. Nice. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> so, how did the season go for the Parkland College men's soccer team? So, uh, how did the That's why we didn't see him for a week. Oh, okay. there we go. Now I know. <laughs> because on our day life, we also are students on the same class. <laughs> and, uh, Ruthie's news writing course, correct? Yep. Yep, shout out to Ruthie. Um, so, what professional soccer player would you say is your role model, Jesse? Uh, well, since uh, Real Madrid is my favorite team, uh, it'll probably have to be either Gary Bale or Cristiano Ronaldo. He say Cristiano Ronaldo. We yeah. actually on one of our show here we did like a blind comment, uh -huh. which is uh, we take the comment of a goal. Yeah. And one of them is about Ronaldo. Oh, okay. So let's listen. I think I'm gonna be clicking on the right one. Let's yep. find out. <laughs> 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 so yeah, I remember this from the blind comment. Yeah, <laughs> actually that goal was, if you can take it a little bit up. Yep, this this goal is, is scored against Sweden. Oh, on, uh, yep. Oh, we had the hat trick? Yep. Okay. <laughs> I see. I remember. Yep, I remember I tried to <laughs> mimic this on Ellie's blind comment segment of El Morning Tape or Two. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yep. So that's Chris, or, uh, example of Cristiano Ronaldo. How it makes, uh, how it makes the comments cool. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. that's pretty awesome. Well, um, that's all my questions I've got right now. Ellie, do you have any anything you'd like to ask our guest before we sign off? Yep. So, what will be your next biggest challenge with the team? Because we know that uh, the local area here, you are already like win the title like two years back to back. So, what is the next? Big challenge. Like big challenge of me or like a, a of the team of Parkland. Yep. Uh, well, that's a great question uh, because obviously, as before, this type of season wasn't able to be reached, even though we had great teams at Parkland. Uh, but however, this season we had great chemistry, and I think that took us far. But uh, as far as challenge goes, uh, there's obviously some great local players in the area, and I understand that with the Parkland recruiting, they always start with like you know. They start at the local area, and they if they don't find nobody, then they go internationally wise. Which we have signed and recruited a lot of good international players over the years. Uh, the challenge will probably be rebuilding because we are losing our two top defenders, Dan White and Keenan Mettings. So it will be really hard to replace them because they're pretty much the rock of the team at the back. And also, uh, it will be hard replacing our goalkeeper, which he was an All American this season as well, Matt Sharman. If you have heard of them or seen them play, the guy is absolutely a legend. <laughs> but uh, yeah, so I mean, as far as the back goes, we'll definitely miss those guys because I know our left back and right back, uh, they're freshmen this season. So it would be definitely nice seeing uh, Juan Garcia and Josh Littlewood come back. Uh, and 
as far as the other guys that will the Parkland will miss and try to uh, recruit based on their positions, they'll probably need a few center mids and maybe another striker up top. Uh, because, like I mentioned, Charmin wasn't the only uh, All American. And Alex Zarco, the center midfield, he's a sophomore as well. Uh, he got All American as well, made the All Tournament team, and uh, I was just blessed to play with some of those guys. You know, they have great talent. So. The next challenge for Coach Sakura and the rest of the team would be uh, coming back and defending their title because, like I mentioned, they, they haven't done this type of history before. And right now, uh, when the preseason rankings come out, they will be ranked in the top 10, which never has happened before in the beginning of the season. So yeah, they do have a lot of, you know, they have a lot of challenging tasks uh, to come ahead. And uh, I hope that they live up to the expectations and uh, recruit players, you know, based on their needs. And I hope they do well next season. Cool. So, yep, yeah, let's go. Thanks for being with us here on the show. We definitely wish you the best, you and the team, and let's go back with the music. Yeah, but before we conclude my final on-air shift of the Saturday special... We still have one more song, and then later we conclude. Okay. So, <laughs> so good with me? Yeah. Okay, we're going to play What's My Age Again, the vinyl riff, here on 88.7 WPCB. I love Blink 182. <laughs> I wouldn't call that a little bit too much. Oh, 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 oh,